The Biden administration, like its predecessor, punishes those it suspects of attacks in a very similar way. On June 27, US F-15E fighter jets struck several popular mobilization units PMU positions along the border between Iraq and Syria. However, the Pentagon spokesman said that the attacks were carried out by a UAV. PMU sources reported that four PMU members were killed as a result of the strikes. The victims were members of the PMU 14th Brigade, who were killed as a result of the bombardment by the U.S. forces on points belonging to the Ambar Operations Command. The Pentagon said that the targeted facilities were used by several Iranian-backed groups, including Kataib Hezbollah and Kataib Saeed al-Shuhada. According to reports from pro-Iranian media, a child was killed and three other civilians were wounded in the attack, in addition to the PMU fighters. On Syria's side, local media said that the aerial offensive had targeted the town of al Mall in the eastern province of Deir Azor. Massive explosions were witnessed and heard. The airstrikes came after Iraqi Kurdish officials said on June 26 that four explosive-laden drones hit locations outside the semi-autonomous region's capital, Erbil. The U.S. actions were also in response to numerous IEDs blowing up convoys as well as missile and drone attacks on U.S. positions. On the same day, the PMU held a military parade near Baghdad attended by senior officials, including Prime Minister Mustafa al-Kadimi. This show of force was also negatively viewed by the U.S. Response to the U.S. strike didn't come in Iraq, but rather in Syria. On June 28, heavy rocket fire hit the base near the Omar oil field in Deir Ezzor, where the U.S. forces are deployed. Pro-Iranian militants of the Liwa Abu al-Fadhal al-Abbas group fired at least eight rockets towards the U.S. armed forces located at the Omar oil field. According to the PMU sources, missiles successfully targeted the headquarters of the U.S.-led international coalition. The attack was confirmed, but no casualties were reported. In response, the artillery of the U.S. armed forces struck buildings used by pro-Iranian militants in the city of Mayadeen. In recent weeks, the U.S. has deployed dozens of military vehicles to Syria's al hasaka government. Washington is preparing for a new round of military escalation. The exchanges of fire will apparently continue. The recent moves against Iran have clearly demonstrated the brand new strategy of the Biden administration in the region. It seems to strongly resemble the old one.